Have you ever wondered what the Earth was like before the dinosaurs walked its surface? Let's take a journey back in time, a staggering four and a half billion years ago, to the dawn of our planet. As hard as it might be to imagine, the Earth we know today, teeming with diverse life and varied landscapes, was once a fiery, molten world, swirling with volatile gases and rocky debris. This was a time when our planet was more akin to a star than the blue marble we now inhabit. This era, appropriately named the Hadean Eon after Hades, the Greek god of the underworld, was a time of intense heat and relentless geological activity. The Earth was a boiling, roiling sphere of magma, its surface constantly reshaped by the forces of volcanism and meteoric impacts. The Hadean Eon extending from the planet's formation to about 4 billion years ago was a time devoid of life as we understand it. The intense heat, lack of stable crust and absence of water made it an inhospitable environment for any form of life. The Earth was still in its formative stages, and it would take billions of years for conditions to become suitable for life to emerge. Gradually, over millions upon millions of years, the Earth began to cool. The outer layer solidified into a thin crust, and water vapor in the atmosphere condensed to form the first oceans. This was a transformative period in our planet's history, as it transitioned from a molten world to a solid one, setting the stage for the creation of the continents and the atmosphere we know today. The Hadean Eon was a time of dramatic change and transformation, a time when our planet was being sculpted by the raw forces of nature. It was a time when life as we know it seemed impossible. Yet, in the midst of this violent and chaotic world, the groundwork was being laid for the future evolution of life. As the Earth cooled it set the stage for the first signs of life. Imagine a time when life as we know it was just beginning to form. In this ancient epoch, Earth was in its Archean Eon, a period dating back over 3 billion years. The surface of our planet was a harsh and inhospitable place, with volcanoes belching out toxic gases and the crust was still cooling from the heat of its formation, yet against all odds, life found a way. Our journey takes us to a world where the first life forms were making their appearance, these were not the complex creatures we are accustomed to today. No, these were simple, single-celled organisms, more akin to bacteria than animals or plants. They were the pioneers braving the challenging conditions of the early Earth, and laying the foundation for all life that would follow. These organisms, known as prokaryotes, were the masters of survival. They thrived in environments that would be fatal to most life forms today, such as the deep sea vents or hot springs. They were able to harness the energy from chemical reactions, a process known as chemosynthesis, to fuel their growth and reproduction. But these humble life forms were not just survivors, they were also transformers. Over time, some of them evolved the ability to perform photosynthesis, a process that uses sunlight to convert water and carbon dioxide into food. The byproduct of this process, oxygen. This marked the beginning of a profound shift. The oxygen produced by these photosynthetic prokaryotes began to accumulate in the Earth's atmosphere. This was the onset of the Great Oxygenation Event, a period when the Earth's atmosphere underwent a radical change from one devoid of oxygen to one where it was a major component. This change had profound implications. It led to the formation of an ozone layer which protected the Earth from harmful solar radiation and it paved the way for the evolution of more complex life forms that rely on oxygen for their survival. These simple, single-celled organisms were the first to leave their mark on Earth. They were the architects of life as we know it, turning a hostile planet into a home and setting the stage for the grand drama of life to unfold. From the simplest of beginnings, life on Earth began to evolve in complexity. Let's journey back to a time known as the Proterozoic Eon, over one billion years ago. This era was a pivotal period in Earth's history, a time when multicellular organisms began to appear and lay the groundwork for life as we know it today. The Proterozoic Eon was a time of significant change, not only for life forms, but also for the Earth's atmosphere and climate. Early in this period, our planet was wrapped in an oxygen-poor atmosphere, a stark contrast to the oxygen-rich environment we breathe today. But things were about to change, this period saw the advent of cyanobacteria, microscopic organisms that had the power to photosynthesize. With this new ability they started pumping oxygen into the atmosphere at an unprecedented rate, a process known as the Great Oxygenation Event. This event transformed the Earth's atmosphere, making it more hospitable for future life forms. 
The climate during the Proterozoic Eon was also in a state of flux. The Earth swung between periods of extreme heat and extreme cold, even plunging into a total global freeze, a scenario referred to as Snowball Earth. This extreme climate change, coupled with the increased oxygen levels, set the stage for a significant leap in evolution, the emergence of multicellular life. Imagine the first organisms that were more than just a single cell, these primitive multicellular creatures were the precursors to everything from the smallest insect to the largest whale. They represented a massive leap forward in complexity, opening up new possibilities for life on Earth. The evolution of multicellular life was a game-changer. It was as if life had been given a new set of tools, leading to an explosion of variety and complexity. The Earth had become a cradle for an increasingly diverse array of life forms, setting the stage for the next chapter in our planet's fascinating story. As life became more complex, so did the Earth itself. The stage was set for the rise of complex organisms. As the curtain lifted on the Paleozoic era, a spectacular event was about to take place, an event so profound that it would forever change the course of life on Earth. This was the Cambrian Explosion, a period of rapid evolutionary development that occurred roughly 540 million years ago. During the Cambrian Explosion, most of the major groups of animals made their grand entrance onto the world stage. It was as if life, having spent billions of years experimenting with simple forms, suddenly hit upon a winning formula and decided to let its creative juices flow. The result was an unprecedented burst of diversity, a biological Big Bang that filled the oceans with a dazzling array of creatures. Among these early pioneers were the first organisms that could be seen as precursors to the dinosaurs. These were not the giant, fearsome beasts that would later rule the Earth but rather small, humble creatures barely visible to the naked eye. Yet within their tiny bodies they carried the genetic blueprint for all the complex life forms that would follow. Take for instance the trilobites. These hard-shelled, segmented creatures were among the first arthropods, a group that would eventually give rise to insects, spiders, and crustaceans. In their diversity and adaptability, trilobites set a precedent for the success of their descendants. Then, there were the first chordates, the group that includes all vertebrates. These simple, soft-bodied creatures bore little resemblance to their mighty dinosaur descendants, yet they were the first to possess a notochord, a primitive sort of backbone. This was a game-changer, setting the stage for the evolution of more complex structures and, eventually, the rise of the dinosaurs. So as we delve into the ancient past, Let's remember that the Earth we know today was shaped by these early, humble beginnings. The Cambrian Explosion was a pivotal moment in our planet's history, a time when life took a bold leap forward and began to explore the endless possibilities of complex form. The Earth was evolving and so was the life it harbored. Now let's journey to a time just before the reign of the dinosaurs. Picture a world quite unlike the one we know today, a time known as the Permian Period approximately 300 million years ago, when the Earth's continents were fused together in one massive supercontinent known as Pangaea. This vast landmass stretched from pole to pole, creating a patchwork quilt of diverse ecosystems. Near the equator, lush rainforests thrived teeming with a myriad of plant species. Further away, vast deserts stretched out under a scorching sun home to hardy creatures that had adapted to survive in such challenging conditions. In this time, life was as diverse as it was abundant. The seas swarmed with a variety of marine life, from tiny plankton to enormous sea scorpions. On land, the dominant species were not dinosaurs but rather the synapsids, a group of reptiles that would eventually give rise to mammals. In the skies, giant dragonfly-like insects known as Meganeura ruled the air, their massive wingspans reaching lengths of up to two feet. Yet, this flourishing world would not last forever. As we neared the end of the Permian period the Earth was rocked by one of the most catastrophic events in its history, the Great Dying. This mass extinction event, triggered by a combination of volcanic activity and climate change, wiped out approximately 90% of all species on Earth. This devastating event marked the end of the Permian period and the close of the Paleozoic era. The Permian world was a harsh and unforgiving place but, it was also a time of unparalleled biodiversity and evolutionary innovation. It was a world that laid the groundwork for the ecosystems we see today. In the ashes of the great dying, life on Earth would once again begin to flourish, giving rise to new species and new ecosystems. 
The stage was now set for the rise of the dinosaurs, a chapter in Earth's history that would captivate us for generations to come. So that was the Earth before the dinosaurs. From its fiery formation, through the first stirrings of life, the evolution of multicellular organisms and the rise of complex life forms, our planet has been on an extraordinary journey. Understanding this period is crucial, as it laid the groundwork for all life, including the dinosaur era that followed. Next time you look at the Earth, remember the journey it's been on. A journey that started long before the dinosaurs roamed its surface.